Hey guys, Indy with Ultimate Tool Reviews here. Well, I just picked up the Heart 6 Tool Combo Kit and I just want to do a quick unboxing video. So the 6 Tool Combo Kit comes with all brush tools. I don't believe there are any brushless tools in here. It comes with a 1.5 amp hour battery, a 4 amp hour battery, a fast charger, which I've got a few of those chargers are not really that fast. I recommend picking up probably their, their dual port fast charger, which actually is pretty quick. Uh, so does it come with a pretty cool looking bag? Uh, we've got the uh, impact driver, a just a regular drill, not a hammer drill. Uh, looks like a light, a orbital sander, a reciprocating saw, and a six and a half inch circular saw. So let's uh, pop this thing open and see what's inside. So I've already got a couple heart tools. Um, picked them up for pretty good deals at Walmart, and uh, been overall pretty happy with them so far. So no real complaints about heart. <laughs> All right, looks like everything is already in the bag. So I'm just gonna pull this out of the bag here quick. And all right, everything is all ready to go in the bag. Looks like we got a nice uh, kind of rubber logo here. Let's get this unzipped. All right, got a few manuals right here. And uh, got the man for the circ saw. Always love the free reciprocating saw blades. Just a regular wood heart blade there. That's pretty cool. Looks like I got a few of the warranty manuals. So there's any other blades or anything else I need in here. Don't see anything. Got the six and a quarter circular saw, or six and a half inch circular saw blade. Pretty cool, 24 carbide teeth. If you didn't know, Hart is actually made by TTI, who they make um, Milwaukee, they also make Ryobi, and they make the power tools for Rigid. So got their fast charger that they claim on the box. I've got a few of these. They're really, really slow for most batteries. They take, man, probably three hours or so to charge like a 1.5. Pretty slow chargers. I like going with the uh, faster dual chargers. All right, so first tool coming out of here is the impact driver. It's got some weight to it, definitely. If kind of my first thought is, wow, there's actually quite a bit of weight on this tool. Got a good amount of grease in here already, wow. That's a lot of grease in there. Let's see if it's a quick insert. I'm just gonna grab a bit here. It is not, no. So you gotta pull the collet there, and there we go. All right, yeah, I like the grip on it so far. Definitely got a nice feel in the grip here. Oh cool, I got a heart bit. Already in the back for me. That's pretty nice. Feels a little cheap here with this. But other than that, then this is all metal up here. Nice rubber overmold in the back here. Not a bad deal for a tool here. All right. Let's move on to the drill. Yeah, the drill's definitely got some, some weight to it. This is actually a pretty long drill. Let me grab a tape measure here. I'm gonna see just how long this drill is here. From front to back, <laughs> almost, wow. I'm a little over nine inches front to back in this drill. Definitely a uh, pretty big drill here. Okay, pretty easy to use the uh, transmission switch here. Sometimes it can be really, Fussy, really tight to move up and back and forth, but no big deal. Well, this is actually pretty satisfying on the clutch here. It moves really smooth. It's got some nice tactile feedback. So here's your lowest setting right there. And your highest setting, of course, is drill. That's pretty nice. And the chuck is okay. Not an all metal chuck. This is plastic, of course. Well, it's needs some lubrication in there. I don't want to spin too much. Hmm. I'll try that out later. 
Let's see what else we got in here. Looks like it's the uh, dust port collection for the circular saw. Nice little accessory to have. All right, here's a circular saw. Actually feels pretty light. A little bit lighter than I thought it would be. I like the design. This is nice clear plastic here. Hmm. Discoloration on whatever this is. Kind of unusual. That's definitely plastic right here. This is actually metal here. Got the nice... Uh, Oh, it's got some nice grip in there. Won't just say, it definitely won't fall out too easily. Usual nice grip on the handle mold here. And battery. It doesn't slide in the back like most circular saws. It looks like it slides in from the side here, which is kind of interesting. But other than that, yeah, it's mostly plastic in here. Let's check these adjustments out. Yeah, it moves nice and smoothly here. Let's see how well I can tighten that down. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a great angle adjustment there on this saw. Uh, pretty easy. Come undone, and when you want to have it tight, super easy to get that to be rock solid. Got the uh, blade blake right there in the back here for changing the blade, which is nice. Overall circular saw, pretty pretty impressive here. Definitely feels pretty good. I wish there was less plastic on there, but it's not a big deal. All right, moving on, just some more cardboard got a light here. I didn't think it would be this small, but not a big deal. Almost feels like a uh, like one of those kids toys you get in like a Happy Meal. <laughs> it's like really light. I mean this that feels like a Happy Meal toy right there. But you know what? It's an LED light. I'm sure it works just fine. And uh, it's got a nice Thick grip here, so definitely useful as a flashlight. Not the best quality I've seen, but it works. Not sure what's in here. I'm guessing the sander, but let's find out. All right, yep, got the sander in here. More manuals and cardboard. Got the dust collection bag, always handy to have. And like whenever I use a sander, I like to put these on. You can take a blower and then blow it out this way and you'll get rid of all that dust really nicely. Works really well. A couple of sanding pads. Look pretty decent quality. And here's the sander itself. Get this out of the bag here. away. There's nothing else in here that we need. Nope, just more packaging in there. But here's a sander. Definitely feels pretty good made. Don't really see anything out of the ordinary here. On off button is a, it's a little tight to push, but it feels like a good sander. Could have been a little bit more compact with how this is. This seems to hang off the side quite a bit here. But let's see how this goes on. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. There's actually no way to just lock it on. It just slides on there and kind of stays tight. Hmm, okay. Might be beneficial for some, but I, I like when stuff can lock on. I don't want to be working around this bumping on something and it falls off kind of thing. Which was a nice way to lock that on. But, oh well. Looks pretty good. And we've got the batteries in here. So I got the uh, four amp hour, and this is new. There's actually a LED fuel gauge here in the back. I wasn't aware of uh, that they were making with the fuel gauge now. I've got a number of the 1.5s right here, and they do not have any fuel gauge on them. I use the uh, Hart RC truck quite a bit. I've got three of the 1.5s. I can burn the 1.5s with the Hart RC truck in about 45 minutes or so of playtime. But 15 minutes of battery, I would say, you get messing with the Hart RC truck. Really fun little toy there. And uh, glad I have some more batteries now to uh, take that out for a bit longer. 
But cool to see that. I didn't know the four amp hour battery, heart batteries actually had a fuel gauge. So that's really good to know. I'm gonna get these slapped in the charger and get these charged up here. But looks like I've got one more tool in the box here. That's the reciprocating saw. If there's one tool I probably use more than anything else, it's gonna be reciprocating saws. This thing is, feels pretty light. I've got a, uh, a lock up here. So unlocked and locked. And we'll see, we've got the blade. That actually feels pretty good. Let's grab that blade and put that in there quick so while well, that works out. Here's that blade. So I'm just gonna open the lock, slide that in, and there we go. All right. Looks pretty good. Definitely feels pretty light for a reciprocating saw. Probably one of the lightest ones I've felt so far. We'll see how it performs. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Don't really see anything unusual with it. Uh, just a regular brush reciprocating saw. So that's just a quick unboxing of the Heart 6 tool kit. Probably gonna get some testing done, doing some comparisons and all the Heart tools here. Gonna kind of compare them up against a couple other brands, see how well they do, um, see the speeds that they work with and uh, just do some more tests here in the future. Uh, let us know in the comments, guys. You guys use any heart tools? What do you think of them so far? And uh, take care, guys. Have a great evening.